tight. I'm heading your way. Thanks. Damn, these guys got more. Keep quiet. Chinga la verga! No mames, ese! Ni soy yo el que estás buscando! para acabar con esos cerdos. This guy's too old to be Sandoval. Frag out. Come in here to culeros. Container up ahead. Watch my six. Got you. Got him. He's here. Fuck. I'm sad to see a man like that end up like this. His kin will be glad we found him. Bowman will too. Bowman? We've located Sandoval's body. I'm sending you the location now. Thank you. I'll send a team to pick him up. Just want to make sure he gets home. Unfortunately, I know the feeling. No matter how.
Most cartel members are violent idiots who are too high to care. But Patricio Mendez Valle, a.k.a. El Cerebro, is an oddball genius who's too fucking smart to bother. Nidia Flores spotted his intellect when he was just a kid. She sent him to college in Mexico and later grad school in California. Word is he was too strange and misanthropic for even that crowd. But he popped up on our radar. El Cerebro heads up the cartel's submersible program out of Caimenez. From Caimenez, his semi-submersibles, sometimes carrying as much as 10 tons of cocaine, head downriver to Brazil, then to the Atlantic. From there, floating just a few feet below the surface, they can go all the way to Mexico, even as far as Florida. But smuggling with these semi-submersibles will soon be a thing of the past. He and Nydia have ambitions to make reusable, fully submersible craft. Think what a multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise could do with a fleet of submarines. Smuggling would be just the start. If we're gonna take down these subs, we need El Cerebro and his jagged ass brain intact and cooperative. Just remember, he's Nydia's pet project. She won't give him up easy. Frosty. Watch out. 